Hi guys, this is V from Waldheimer Studio and today we are going to talk about flying cushions in Marvelous Design. If you're anything like me, you have tried to make a cushion, you've watched a nice tutorial about making some really nice cushions and what happened to you, your cushion flew away from the screen. If you start googling this issue, you will find a lot of explanations, none of them are short, none of them are straightforward, this is what we are going to do here. I'm going to tell you why you are getting your flying cushions in Marvelous Designer. So let's head to Marvelous Designer and try to make a cushion. Okay, so here we are in the Marvelous Designer, we aren't going to do anything fancy, we're just going to make a nice little cushion using only uh, two square objects. If you want an even square, just hold shift while making an object that will make it even, all sides will be perfectly same. We're going to copy and mirror paste that same square. I like my objects to be a little closer to the ground when working in Marvelous Designer, especially if I don't use an avatar. So here we are, we're going to sew these edges together to make a little square cushion. And uh, if we want uh, to inflate any object, we are using the pressure option. So yeah, this is our little very simple object. We are going to apply pressure by the value of 5 and what happens next is what you are probably uh, experiencing if you are watching this video, that your cushion flew away. There is a very easy way to fix this, you just reset your 3D arrangement, here you are going to have to probably bring back your squares into their place a little. Not sure why that happens. Basically, uh, you will notice if you look close, some edges are white and some are a little darker. Those that are a little darker are inverted. We're going to do, uh, to flip normals, as you can see, and try it again. And here it is. A nice little cushion no longer flies away. It's there on the ground. That's really all there is that is a simple solution to this issue. So let's do this once again on the slower, so you can see the whole process. So once we have our 3D arrangement resetted, we're looking for the dark edge. We're going to uh, flip normals, because previously when we applied the pressure, when our object, uh, lower object was inside out, the pressure was applying in the same direction, that's why the cushion flew away. Now we are going to redo the simulation, apply the pressure now and we will have our cushion fall down to the ground. I hope you find this straightforward to answer your question about this issue. I hope you like this video. If you like it, share it with your friends, hit like and subscribe, and thank you a lot for visiting and watching. Hope to see you in the next video as well. Bye-bye.